Good morning, my people. Dr. Dutton's walking to Benny Viaduct, Eckiston, Abandoned Railway Bridge. You might be able to see it from here. Let's see. That's where I am going. I bet uh, a lot of people have seen this on the train. They are going past Eakston train station. They are going past it. Um, it's grade, grade 2 listed. It is. I always wanted to come and visit this place. Well, um, I didn't know that you could actually go on it. I know that um, council have been um, fixing it up. That's it on top of every walk. Yeah, it used to be like um, no footpath on there, apart from metal pillows. We had to step on it, so you know you have to step on every single metal thing. But I'll show you anyway when I get on there. Hey, that's where I'm going. Just uh, I'm trying to find a way to get on it. This is the um, active line down here. Goes to like Manchester, Sheffield, them sides. This is like little bridge. And let's go over here. Right, there's um, a lot of history about it as well. Well, when I get in there, I'll tell you about it. I'm going to take some sauce Right, that's fine. A path where I have to get on. The yeah, path one underneath it, so it must be a but I think going to go this way, going to go this way. Yeah. Where I was earlier, walking through the um, woods. Uh, there must be some steps on there. Uh, yeah, man. Every, every area, area anyway. I mean, I look at Saturday. Don't know, don't know. Uh, I mean, at the time, I've been past this place like, on the train. To that Manchester or Sheffield, you know. We always wonder what where it was then. I've seen a video of it uh, from Trekking Explorers. And I thought, oh, oh. Yeah, I actually can go on it. So yeah, uh, check his um YouTube but got bare stuff on there. About them buildings and uh, canals and Tunnels and to um, World War II bunkers. Get me. What for you? Walk through this way. If not, I'll have to go a different way. Here we are, guys. Quite easy to get to that sir. I, I thought it would be actually quite hard to get to. But, yeah, man. It's cool, isn't it? Of course, uh, in the fencing here, 
by the council pop so you know people didn't jump off or you know this has been in the fired up back to fire and just down there Akerston Just our info about um, what's happening, I think. A bit windy though. Well, I'll probably uh, do it probably when I um, get in. So, well. You can't see it from me anyway, you can't see it down the own train line anyway. And I think it's doing, look at the one that it's doing, it's doing, it's doing, it's doing, that way, or that way. Well, it's not far from me, you know that. Burnet fire dock is a diffuse array fire dock spanning the Isles Valley between Walshworth, Nuckinsur, and Ickenston, Derbyshire, in central England. In, yeah, it was built in 1877 but closed to railway traffic in 1968. Of beaching cups, it was sold to Conservation Group Railway Path Limited in 2009. Carries X Great Northern Railway, Conserv. Iowa Valley, location nothing so and Derby Derby support up. Maintained by Friend of Penny Fire and Corporation with Railway Path Limited. Designed by Black Iron that is quick. I think that has work, I think that's good enough. Twin standard. Rail height is um, 60.83 feet in um, 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 Moses. The fire duct is a great two listed structure and is on the Elchard at risk best public, published by Historic England. It was also included in the 23 year old Momentum Watch. Small stage of restoration started in mid 2014. 
Plant and give them the credit need that can to join now into a network of accession for crafts, subject to two planning consents for the required works and the size of construction. We started to make to create a footpath walking started in 2022 and now had it open to the public 13th of January 2022. Cool. I, I, I don't think it's, uh, it's an amazing place as well. I'm, I'm glad that they opened it all. So if you have a comment on the comments, it's quite easy to get to. You can catch the number, the number two bottom from time or like a custom road, bulletin. So I will, you know. So it's not hard to get to, actually, you know. I'm going to try and walk down here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, what I'm going to do as well, I'm going to walk to the end of the bridge um, to see if I can get down to the ground floor. I, I, I think you can end it somewhere. Can we some more? Yeah, I wrote some more of stuff out on my phone anyway. Well, she said. That uh, if I did it was born in May. 1876 and November 1877 and formed part of the Great Northern Railway Docks or Extension, which was built in part of to exploit the coal fields in Derbyshire and Nathanshire. The contract was given by the Great Northern Railway to Benton and Woodbridge if the line laid out to buy the fire door design. It was designed by Richard Johnson, Chief of Engineer of the GNR Great Northern Mail. Samuel Abbott was the wrestling engineer. The fire duct consisted of 16 at highest work. Depth spans each 76 feet 7 inches. Sporting on white iron columns with stone capped blue brick foundations. There were three additional iron screw spans at the eastern end of the fire duct, which carried the railway line in for Iowa Canal. Iowa Canal to start at the bottom of us. Yeah, man, for about, I, I, I don't think a lot of people know about this history, you know. That's a point, I, every time I came across it, I always thought I wondered why it was in water, you know. Now I know, now, now you know, you know. Cool, isn't it? Quite long as well. I, I 
have this one, you can tell that uh, the ID is here or actually you know. Oh, I think all the margins can just be cleaned up. Uh, I've got to these ones, uh, this one's on me. Uh, and I know that like, you can tell the difference from that one to that one. Yeah, uh, these ones, the um, old ones, uh, on top. These ones, yeah, old ones. So you could like the um, made it matching. And this, uh, of course, this, this is like the new path and uh, what they built. So yeah, it's quite good. You know, this is the end of the um, Benny Faduk Bridge. So I'll probably have a little store down there, see where it takes me. Quite nice though, still you know. Yeah, you've got like wooded area before all this, you got like the canal. Um, yeah, you got this down here. So it's good like walk as well. So yeah. Oh but get yourself down here man. It's a nice beautiful day. You know, but I thought like it was going to be cold as well, but it turned out to be nice actually. So I'm, I'm glad for that. So I'm going to have a little walk down here to see where it takes us. And for, I know, I think, yeah, there's a footpath what goes underneath it, but I might have to go the other way. But I'll go down there first anyway. Let's see, you know. Let's see where it's really, what's down here. Probably will not explore everything today, but I just wanted to come in, that's all. Mainly for the bayonet fired up. So, That's what I'll, I'll, I'll bother about anyway. But well, I, I think one day I might actually explore the canal up here. Because I used to come up here like, on the canal back in the days when I was younger, yeah, innit? I think I might have to go on the other side to get down to the bottom of it. So if you can look there, can you? Let's go down there and see if we can get down there. Now, if not, I'll just go down the other side and do that way. So, yeah, Mum. See what's down here. Yep, I'm at the bottom, guys. Cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, I'm not too sure um, about this wasteland. Uh, of course, it will sort of be um, like rail trucks and and whatever. I think uh, I'm sure it was. Uh, I'll have to check on my information about that. But I'm sure it was like the railway lines and buildings and. Like that, down here. Right, the door lit there, yeah. Right, um, well, they gave you some more info while I'm down here. On uh, 31st January 1916, nine Zeppelin 
airships of the German Airship Navy Field Naval Division conducted a bombing raid over the British mainland known as the Great Maiden Raid. One of these airships, the L20 LZ-59, based at Tonnerdon in Scotswick, now part of the Denmark and command by, I can't even pronounce that way, but still, some German name, Starbuck, conducted a bombing raid in the area around Bernay Fidel. Seven explosion bombs were dropped in a vicinity, one, one of which fell just to the north of the fire duct Midland Railway line at Benley Junction, which served Benley Ironworks. Damage was caused to the Midland line, but the fire duct emerged with only superficial marks from Sapnel, which are visible to this day. Later, during the same raid, the L-20 dropped 15 bombs onto nearby Stanton Ironworks, which one, uh, wait, the nearby Stanton Railworks, one of which damaged the railway bridge crossing Nutbrook Canal on 4th of May 1916 after a second air raid over. Hmm, good. In 1980, Beeson Town Hall was the ven venue for the public inquiry into the proposed demolition of the Benley Fire Door. Into the period demolition of the fire duct. Very near the fire duct, right, iron construction saved it from demolition. The demolition contracts were tendered for the contract to demolish the fire duct put forward, amounts which were considered too high. The reason given for the high cost was the right iron structures could not be cut up with an oxy line Talks and would have to be taken part with it by with it. The fire duct to fire to become a great two listed structure it is the building at this vista. The small. Ooh, what's that down there? I'll show you guys. No, no. Cool. Yeah, where was that? Yeah, the fire ducts five to form grade two listed structure. It is on the building at this restaurant. The smaller, smaller melding field it was refurbished in 1996. It's now part of the Granite Way. It's a cycling and walking path in Devon. Cool. You know what, as well, I'm going to go to uh, Santa now, I know, but I think it might be close by here, you know. And um, what I have to do one day, well, I could do it today if I wanted to, but I might go somewhere else, you know. So. And also in Eggleston, the um, bomb sorters somewhere as well. So over there, that I'll able to find these. Yeah, that's it really. There's not much down here, so. It, it, you get a better food from, from top. So I'm just thinking 
Um, and in the sign of thing like if, if there any info like what was down here. Well, I'll probably actually look in, in tomorrow like what was actually down here. But I'm sure it was, and when I watched the video, I'm sure that it was like a train line depot and whatever else. So yeah, uh, on the way back, I'm, I'm going to go, well, I need to go back up there anyway. Yeah, I might have to have a little walk, see what's actually on there. You never know. Uh, I might find something interesting. Let's go down here. Yeah. That's a nice, I would not say building, but it's not even a building, is it? It's a nice structure, actually, to be honest. Yeah, I'm glad that they saved it. Part of history. It is. Oh, let's go down here. There are people here. So, uh, let's get down on the video. Yeah, that's it really guys. I can give you some more info if I wanted to. But following the uh, of British Railway to 1994 and 1997, they was decided to release redundant railway assets from government ownership on the 23rd. March 2001. And then the fire was purchased from BRB by the Charity Railway Ray Paths. Intensely, the fire was managed by such trains who hope to use it as part of their national cycle network for the benefit of walking circuits in a similar way to Malden Fire Dock. In 2015, such train received a grant of 45,000 from, from the Heritage Lottery Fund to engage with the local community plan. The next phase of restoration Work in where are we? Uh, in 2017, the strange strands applied for the uh, air traffic fund for a second order grant to, fin to finance restoration and associate works, but it was rejected. Plan to split. A first application, but much funding was not available. So, such trans management decided not to pursue the project. A management offer that referred to railway paths, the fund of benefit act, and a group of volunteers were formed with the aim of pursuing a fire and adding it to the national cycle network for public benefit. Work on a fire duct by French group as included. The uh, train here.
Yeah, it's fine. Shoot me, guys. There's nothing much to see down here, really. Yeah, once... And one turn... I'll go on top. I'll quick do... A quick three day walking on... on, on, on uh, I can't get my wheels out today. And when I get on top, I need to go back that way, down that way. So I'll do a quick video of it, walking back. So yeah. I think there's an active train down there. Just, uh, just going to have a little walk around here, to see what's on here. There's yeah, nothing much anyway, apart from concrete. You know, I bet it was like in the ground feet on him probably back in the days. So I wonder if there's like any like money or probably like in that city down there. Yeah, but that'd be cool. So you have a little stroll. Yeah, see if I can see anything. Uh, I'll probably come back down here again at some point. Don't know when. But I think I might actually uh, come back down here, do a second part of it. And probably explore, get even more in depth or something like that. So, yeah. I definitely do a part of it. So, if anybody wants to come with me, just let me know and I'll go down with you. And then, take some shots. Dark Bitty Productions. Ben and Lee fired up. Coming soon. Don't know. Oh, I just came across these little things. They're part of the um, train track fellows. They've been dumped here. When you are along these, doing your concrete ones, quite a lot of them actually. When you what's underneath them, some more over here. Let's go down here. Can I get, can I get a coffee? I might just have to step over the stool. Of course. Oh, I don't need to go and get around. So much fear up. Oh well. It's quite nice up here, you know, to be honest. Nice and peaceful. Ooh, when it was down here. Yeah, just more footpaths. Hmm. So in this way, they're probably like, I might go down there a little. Let's see what's up here. Hmm. 
Only what is good for. What do you do with that? The trim stops or smoke. I'm going to walk you. Yeah, it must be like some form of building or or something, you know, but you got like looks down here. Oh, what's down here? Oh, that's Bob. Or uh, maybe something was underneath you. Well, what's this? Very not much back. I see. Oh. Yeah, man, boy, not much back there. <laughs> Boss. Oh, burn out, mate. That is. Yeah, just have a nice little walk around here, there. See what's on you. Right, I've just been looking at this. I have told you a bit of the history. Yeah, um. This one, uh, um, and where and where I am now, basically, there was actually trains come down here. And so it says, um, I was Friday railway. The railway line that runs under Bernie's fired up today was originally built by I was. So you can't kind of win there at the same time. I'm put this on the floor. <coughs> yes, I can actually read it. There you go, that's better. Right, it's all in the beginning. The highway line that went under our Bernie fired up today was originally built by the Iowa Friday Railway Company to compete with the canals in carrying Fireball coal traffic opening in 19, no, 19, 1847. It soon became profitable and was quickly absorbed into Midland Railway Company, the Great Northern Railway, which Bernie Fardot was constructed for, was built to compete with the mainland railway for locative trade cool then uh, there you got Nakam Canal and that's what it was uh, look like in a picture
was um, underneath um, Benini Viaduct. Go down here, have a closer look. Cool, isn't it? Yeah, man. So, solid. Yeah, this is what I uh, concrete watch for today as well. This like the other side, the other side of it. For animals. Uh, I just, uh, I just think it's an amazing structure. To be honest. The bottom, the side, you can see that the holes and, you know, yeah, I'm gonna they actually restore this place, and I think it's a, that's a music, with a big <laughs> yeah, I think that's it for today, guys. Well, actually, yeah, I said I need to do a bit of video walking back onto. <laughs> oh, yeah, so I, was, I still do that. And I'll get going. Then at some point, I'll do a part two. Back on top of a thing I don't. One time get to the end. But no, that's it. End of the journey today. you guys enjoyed the video that's where I was down there you know?
Ja, vor ein paar Sterne. Come to end now, guys. to find out here. This is the um, outside of a footpath where you come up. Yeah, that's it guys. Benelli Viaduct, Dr. Blutzmans, ciao for now.